Hi guys, I'm back again. I just uh, did another video, but um, I'm just doing this video now. It's a short video. Um, something was just resting on my spirit, so I just wanted to say, have you a heart that's weary, tending a load of care? Are you a soul that's seeking rest from the burden you Do you know, my Jesus? Do you know, my friend? Have you heard? He loves you and that he will till the end now you may want to know like I've never done this before um not singing on camera but I love to praise the Lord in my shower yeah I do and in my home uh my son one of my sons just came in and uh he was we were talking about his um his a, f a friend of his that never made it into 2021 young man 31 thir thir just turned 30 years old uh, another of my son a neighbor was in his 20s took his life these two young men took their lives uh, in talking to a lot of young people there have been a lot of despondency um, men and women uh, some folks loss of a job some folks just not having a sense of purpose or a sense of well-being or a sense of you know where they're going in life but I'm telling you it is the plan of the enemy to take you out because in your youthfulness you have strength in your youthfulness there's a lot that you have to give and I'm speaking to young people specifically uh, the spirit of depression is upon a lot of young people the spirit of anxiety is upon a lot of young people and you have to know that all is not lost when you give up your life you're not gained an eternity when you take your life you know it's really not worth it really not worth it um and too many you know working with the precinct knowing about people taking their lives it may seem hopeless but where there is life, my grandmother used to say, there is hope. And when you have hope in Christ, you have hope. So have hope. Keep hope alive within you, young man, young woman, whoever sees this video. I haven't tagged anyone because I just want to bring this message and ask that you share this message when you see this message because souls are being lost. When I saw how my son looked and, you know, and my other bonus son, what he's going through and others that I know and folks that I know and I, I won't share their problems on the air, you know, the people I know, but I just want to say that what they're going through is not germane to just them. It's not only them. Others are going through situations that are similar. And because of that, I am a 
keep healing and I urge you and for families and friends reach out to your loved ones when folks said they're depressed when they're saying they're going through the going through don't just say oh well don't leave them alone pray if nothing else pray for them because I'm telling you, when you and I can't reach someone, God can. But if you don't know, and if you're not addressing the matter, we don't need another life to be lost. So please, please, I urge you, please reach out. And let me close with this scripture. Let me share a scripture. Because I'm telling you, I've been through a lot. And, you know, I have a few decades on you guys, you young people. And let me just read to you what Matthew 11 verses 28 through 30 says in the Passion Translation. Are you weary carrying a heavy burden? Do you feel like you're carrying a heavy burden? Do you feel, is life become such a doldrum that it's difficult for you to get up, get out of bed, shower, eat, fix some food? We love you too much for you to stay there and God loves you even more. There is so much in you. It's a lie from the pit of hell. I am telling you there is a lot in you. There is light in you. There is purpose in you. You were created with a purpose. And you just need a little help. So reach out and ask for help. And if you come across this video and you need help, trust there are many resources that I can uh, direct you to. And if nothing else, you know I will pray for you. And if you want me to pray with you, I will. So you can messenger me when you get this. But... If you don't feel like reaching out to me and you feel like reaching out to someone who's close to you, do so. But don't try to fight your battle alone. We're here for you. There are resources. There are those who can pray for you. You're suffering from anxiety and panic and depression. There are counseling. And we can get you even free counseling. Okay? Somebody will pay for it. Okay, whatever it is, we will try our best to do what we can as the spirit leads. Come on, I'm telling you, you're not alone in this. You're not alone. You're not alone out there. You're not alone. Okay, reach out. So let me uh, continue reading. So Jesus asked, and this was Jesus speaking when he was on earth. The words still apply. Are you weary, carrying a heavy burden? And then come to me, he says. I will refresh your life. You feel like your life need a refreshing? You feel like you need a little judging? You know, you need a little something to oomph you up? You know? For I am your oasis, Jesus says. And we know that an oasis, remember, it's like how the, in the desert, when the, where it's, 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 it's hot and arid and dry, and suddenly the weary traveler would come upon an oasis that would have palm trees with fruits, the dates on it, and it would have water that they can drink and the fruits that they could eat, and it'd be cool because they could go in the water, they could relax and be refreshed. This is who Jesus is to you. I am telling you, there's nothing you're lacking that Jesus cannot provide because he will let the right person come to you. He will lead you to the right person with the right resources. So he says, simply join your life with mine.
He says, learn my ways and you will discover that I'm gentle, I'm humble, I'm easy to please. Jesus is easy to please. He's really not hard to please. All you have to do is believe him and trust him. That's it. Yeah, and he loves you. No ulterior motives. He loves you so deeply. He really, really does. And he says, you will find refreshment and rest in him. You know, sometimes uh, you can get burdened down. It can be the job. It can be that you're in college. You know, it can be a relationship you're going through. And you can get taxed or you can be a single parent. Or maybe it's none of those. It's something else. Maybe you've turned to drugs and alcohol, but that's not working. Maybe you have a sex addiction and that's not working. Whatever it is, you can give it to the Lord. And I'm telling you, when you're tired, when you're tired, and I speak from experience, I've been there, I've been depressed, I've suffered from anxiety, I've gone through a lot. I'm telling you, I've gone through a lot. You know, uh, in 2018, According to my surgeon, I died twice, but Jesus, and that's an experience. And I'm going to write the book on that, but I have other work to do for the Lord. So I'm writing other books in the meantime. But I'm telling you, as someone who's been revived, refreshed, renewed, brought back to life by Jesus, I'm telling you, Jesus is the one. When I tell you he came into that operating room, yes, I, I, I am telling you this. I could hear the surgeons speaking. I could hear what they were saying. And, uh, uh, you know, but when Jesus came in, okay? And, um, and so I'm encouraging you. I've been there. But God, I've been there. And I know without a shadow of a doubt, I know I've suffered from panic anxiety attacks when I was taking care of my mom and um, I had depression prior to that and I have gone through, listen, I've lost hundreds of thousands of dollars and I've lost my home, I've lost a lot. I went through some things and I was depressed but Jesus delivered me and here I am today and I'm telling you, I'm encouraging you I was young and now I'm older, okay? I'm telling you, Jesus saw me through and he'll see you through. I was speaking to one of my daughters and I was telling her, I said, you know, no matter what I was going through and I found a book when I wrote some poems when I was in my depression and I said, wow, I didn't realize I was in such a dark place. But um, in all the poems, there was a little light. There was always a light. And that light was Christ and it was hope and it gave me the hope to keep going, keep moving, keep pressing. Because you, beautiful soul, you, young man, you, young woman, you're going forward. It doesn't matter. No matter if you made it to the bathroom and you only brushed your teeth, you're moving forward. You took a shower, you're moving forward. You ate two spoonful of food, you're moving forward. You rolled out of bed, you're moving forward. You brushed your hair, you're moving forward. You washed your hair, you're moving forward. And some of you are struggling to hold it together and you feel like you're going to fall apart. But I'm telling you, you're stronger than you think. There is more fortitude in you than you know. Trust that and know that it is Christ who put it there. Yes, I said Christ Jesus. It doesn't matter what faith you are. There is one God the Father, one God the Son, and one Holy Spirit of God. Yes. And whatever he has done for me, he'll do that and more for you. Don't expect, like you could say, oh, this lady just said this. Oh, uh, I want you to do it. No, no, he'll do more for you. He'll do exceedingly, abundantly, ab above and beyond what you can think, what you can imagine, or what you've even asked for. He'll do more than what you asked for. But will you trust him today? Will you allow him? He says, for all I require of you will be pleasant and easy to bear. God does not put burden on anyone. Responsibilities, but not burdens. It's, it's, it's just a responsibility. All you have to do is 
trust him, believe him, and do what he says. That's it. It's easy. And how many of you don't do that? You do that for your bosses. Do that for your girlfriend, your boyfriend, your spouse, your friend. And many times the people in your lives are trifling. Even parents can be trifling. Kids can be trifling. Huh? People in your lives can be trifling and you will bend over backwards to please them. And God is saying, I'm not requiring anything of you. He's not asking you for it. All you have to do is trust him, believe him, love him. And he's like, listen, you don't even have to start out by loving him. He said, I will love you. As a matter of fact, he loves you currently in whatever state you're in. God loves you now. Jesus loves you in the state you're in at this moment. Let his love pull you out from under the depression, from under the oppression, from under the anxiety, from under the addictions. Let the love of Christ pull you out. Drink from the rivers of his pleasures today and know that you are greatly loved. His favor is upon you. His presence is with you. So I encourage you and I urge you, trust him. Don't give up. It's never too late. No matter your age, it's never too late. Trust God. Be blessed. And I wish you a magnanimous fortuitous, a blessed, and a wonderful 2021. There, there are blessings already placed in 2021 for you. Yes, you, beautiful soul. Yes, you. So have a blessed and a wonderful day in Jesus' precious and holy name.